own chilling playoff football at that in the city of brotherly love at Lincoln Financial Field. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Seattle Seahawks and the Philadelphia Eagles. One of two spots in the NFC title game awaits the winner here as we're underway in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. some options on second and short. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Now after the false start, here's second. Now a give, right side, gross, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles, but when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Here we go. Here we go. Back to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. That's good. First down. There's a guy who went over a thousand yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. First and ten at the 49 yard line. Here we go. 18 Gator. Topper, topper. They'll run on first down. Riddle. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Second and six. They'll buy some time right. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. Ready, ready. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He'll look to throw. He's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. 
They're always up for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And this will be touchdown inside the 20. He'll spot it at the 18-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the throwing football. On second down now, McCann. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. And it's third down. Ready? Stick the oar. I'm coming you. I'm coming after you. Now. On third down, McCann. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth of the yard. They'll try and run for it. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. And the Seahawks first down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first down, McCann. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Let's go. Eight, three. Looking to throw. And the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. Brandon, their last miss on third down, they actually were able to alleviate it because they picked it up with a fourth down conversion. I don't know that they'd be wise to try and do that again here. To me, you got to punt the ball away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the 6-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They'll run on first down. Gross. He's going to have the first down pass to 20. And all the way up to the 37-yard line. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. 
Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside, they can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a handoff here to his running back. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Yo, 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 cheetah, cheetah. Nice. Now back to throw. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 45-yard line. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. On the ready. Here we go, D, get off the field. Watch the ship, watch the ship. Hey, six, six, pull it high. Shoot. On first down, it's gross. The 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. They'll set up a throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. 16-yard touchdown as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Now for the point after. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They'll run on first down. McCann. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. On second down. McCann looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Let's go, defense. Defense. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Klein. First catch for him in these playoffs. He was held without one last week, but he's got a first down on that effort. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. 
third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first down, McCann. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got nothing. On second down now, McCann. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The Seahawks on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Now again, right side. Callaway. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Ready, ready. Stick the oar. 57 to Mike. 57. Hey, orbit. Second and two. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. Brings up third down and two. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Check 15. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Here we go on fourth down. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First and ten at the 34 yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Four down, four down. Hey, Delta. Two little cut, cut. And now. They'll try the left side. Gross. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. How about that, partner? That's a gutsy run, a physical run, an explosive run. And he's inside the 10-yard line now. I don't know if you hand it to him again on this play, but make the defense think that you will. And maybe you have some options off of it. Watch the run. Watch the run. Yeah, it. it. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and goal. On 
They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Hey, Sam off. I don't even know why his team showed up. Kill, 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 kill. Hey, Charlie. Pilot, 64, weak. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. You have to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the ten-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. On third down, it's gross. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Come into the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And that kick will go out of bounds right at the 20-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Here's a second and seven. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball. From yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll set up to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Kill, 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 kill. 61, match box, one down. Back to throw now on second and 10, and this will be incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. This time they stay on the ground, and they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. Come into the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's going to find Hogan here, complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. chain mover they're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10 they'll drop the throw and he fires one that's intercepted picked off near the 26 it's celebrating and off he goes Time has now run out on this first half of action. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. Hey, 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 hey. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 80 weapon. They'll throw now on the final play toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Let's 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. On second down, it's Wood. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Switch up, switch up. Get They're going to look to throw. This complete to Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First catch for him in these playoffs. He was held without one last week, but he's got a first down on that effort. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now again, right side, McCann. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Let's go, D. Now a give, right side. Wood. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets them up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. On second down now, it's Wood. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to bring up a third down. Ready, ready. And two stop. They'll keep it on the ground again. It's Wood. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But that's how you get right up off of the mat, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit, because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we're looking at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. On second down, it's Wood, and he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out, as his guys are back within a single score. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that'll make our score 14-7. to This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Let's go! The Eagles take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. 
25 yard line. Let's go now. The Eagles Let's offense go. set to begin their next drive. They'll run on first down. Gross. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll keep it on the ground. It's gross. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Ready, ready. And to give this time to the tailback. Room to run again. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll keep it on the ground. Riddle. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll look to throw here, and that will be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. To find him, find him. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along. But their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Come on, set, Come into the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. On second down now, McCann, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game, and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And the Seahawks on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. Go, go. 56. 56. He'll drop to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now the Seahawks are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this.
Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And the punt will kick out of bounds, and it'll be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Gross. Nine yards on the pickup there as they'll be left with third and one. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They'll keep it on the ground. Riddle, and they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a give, right side. McCann, and he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll keep it on the ground. McCann. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 44 yards away. Myers' kick is good. And they're back with it, a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And the Eagles dodge a bullet. They cover it up. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Pilot, 64. 
Boy, we... Snap. Second and 13. He's got the hookup to Miller. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. That one good for 24 yards. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Apparently the week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand yard rush in the regular season. Got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning basically saying that they would not have won the division without him. And he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main guy. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And an alley to run. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Let's go! Ready, ready. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a desperation throw deep, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 33. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Let's go. AG Gator. Slam, slam, slam. On first down, it's gross. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Good gain there on first down. and keeps him in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. 
They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. I know we're the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. They'll run on first down. Riddle. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 9-yard line. Here we go. Set. 15. Run. 